Yes, what a result. We've just witnessed West Ham beat Arsenal 1-0 at the London Stadium. What an absolutely fantastic result. I mean, what else can we say? Oh, just a brilliant game. I mean, yeah. it was lovely to see Declan uh, get a goal. Rice get a goal, goal today. First goal, first goal, for, the goal for the club. Brilliant, get man of the match. And uh, he's just a star in yeah, the making. He really, really, really is. Let's just rewind back to the team selection. Thoughts on team selection? I mean, all this controversy over uh, Arnautovic. Let's just get straight on to the point of Arnautovic. Yeah. He started the game. What was your thoughts on his performance and what was your thoughts on how he left the pitch today? Well, I thought he was going to be subbed and I thought Carroll would come on, so that didn't surprise me. I don't think he, he was out there kind of trying to play a bad game, but at the same time, it does look as if perhaps... His mindset is to leave now, possibly. Yeah, I think yeah, his mindset I, is not, not in it there I, today. I thought, I mean, if, if you haven't watched the game and you see the highlights, etc., at the end of the game, our outfit looks like he's waving to the fans, waving goodbye, and right at the end of the game, he looks like he kind of slightly sulked and went down the tunnel, never celebrated with the team. No, he so it's, it's as if he's ready to yeah, go. And do you know what? We don't need that at the club, and I'm not trying to say he's going about it the wrong way, but um, or, or maybe he is. We just don't need that at the club anymore. So if he wants to go, let's get as much money as we possibly can, mm -hmm. reinvest in it. Because I tell you something, Dad, I trust than Pellegrini yeah he's absolutely he's, well. he's proving what about Nasri what about talking well, about Nasri well, we're going to go back to that so yeah. I just went on to Arnautovic so let's talk about it Nasri started the game today he did um, I think that was maybe a shock to some fans I was up for it I think you were up, yeah, for, it. up for it what yeah. was your thoughts on Nasri because I, I mean he's not thought too no, much he's, fitness no 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 but he, I mean he's, you can see he's got the class yeah and I mean he showed it he got the assist which was brilliant and he was also I mean he uh he, he did everything right today, didn't he? He tackled yeah. well. Yeah. He, um, great and, and great he, link up play yeah, between good, him good and Anderson. Yeah. And albeit I didn't think Arnautovic had his best game, there was a, some decent link up play between the three of them moving forward, yeah. which gives us that insight to know do you know what? There's actually potential there uh -huh. in Nasri. But yeah. I thought, all in all, in the 70 minutes that he played, yeah. I mean, if he'd have stayed on the park, he'd have been a close contender to Rice for yeah. the man of the match. We were under pressure. The first 20 minutes, I think Arsenal played really well. Like Azette was right up the front there. Yeah. He was causing us a lot of problems. Putting at, the pressure uh, on at the, the defence. Yeah, him um, and, uh, although the, um, well, Bobby, Yang. He, Bobby Yang didn't really play as well as he could no. have done today but that could be because we, we marked him well yeah. Cresswell I thought in defence played a brilliant he game he did right? actually I thought he did he kept mm. tackling getting the ball yeah. and he kept running up the wings he didn't make many mistakes today so massive massive uh, plaudits to Cresswell which I thought was fantastic I thought Zabaleta on the right yeah, wing he's... going up and down yeah. left right and centre mm -hmm. let's get back on to Antonio yeah. uh, fair play I like to him. Antonio yeah, uh, yeah, do you know what he's, he's, coming, he's well. come back into his own yeah. again as he, he, he is like the beast. I mean, he once he starts attacking, I mean, if you were defending against uh, against him, you'd be really scared. Yeah. Because he he does you know gives that presence, he gives that attacking force, and he makes the he makes the defenders back off. Yeah. And then that, that opens up the game. Yeah. I thought he a few times when he tackled, got the ball back. Yeah. He held the ball really well, giving um, the rest of the West Ham yeah, team enough time to put, come up front yeah. And, yeah. and and collect themselves and get their tactics yeah. back into position again. So top marks from Antonio Noble and Rice in the middle of the park. Yeah. Good. I, I mean, we'll like Mark Noble. Noble. Yeah, Mark Noble. Good. Yeah, fine. Yeah. No, nothing outstanding. As I think, even the commentary team on uh, Sky <coughs> was sort of rating everybody there sevens and above, and I think you had to yeah. to rate him quite well today as well. Yeah, but I mean, uh, I mean, Dec uh, what's his name? Mark Noble. He always plays up to a London derby. He loves a yeah, London he does, derby, yeah, and he, he, yeah. he kept his temper today, which is yeah. something we always yeah, know he's, good. he's capable yeah. of. But yeah. um, that man, the main man, Declan Rice. Dad, what have we got on our hands here? Oh, he's just a wonderful. How many times do we talk about? Oh no, you can't help but talk about him. He's. He's got everything. He's got the style. He's got the ability. I mean, <coughs> he, he can play. He could play central defence. He could play central midfield. But I mean, the way he was playing today, he could play anywhere. What, what, plus, what, plus scoring the goal. What one fantastic thing he did do, and we watched it, and, and I think everyone in the park uh, in the stadium must have seen it as well. But at one point, Lacazette was coming through, and Declan Rice got in at the twelve-yard box, and he sweeped the ball between uh, Lacazette, sweeped it away from him, and he never went to ground. No. Uh, Declan Rice didn't go to ground. No, he stood, he watched. His awareness yeah. of the game is very, very, very. Remind good. me of the Bobby, Bobby Moore I know. tackled against Brazil. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like yeah. He, 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 he's, he's got that. And in theory, it was slightly more dangerous because yeah. it was right inside the box, mm. right near the penalty spot. He's good, Lacazette. He's good. He's yeah. a good player. Like I said, he's a good player and yeah. the fact that Declan Rice can just compete in this, at this level when he's 19 years old. I know. Future captain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Future no. leader. I don't know what he it's going to be. Whether he's going to lead England or lead Ireland, but he's yeah. certainly going to lead us in he, the future with he, that question, isn't he? He does lead the team, though, yeah, doesn't he? Does, he? Yeah, you can he see does. for a young yeah. lad that mm -hmm. he does. Um, Anderson. I, I like Anderson. I do as well. He's starting to blossom now, and yeah. I love him. I love his confidence. Little, yeah, his confidence, his ability to be able to be comfortable on the ball to to make the odd uh, um, good, you know, good, good. Like how can I say, attacking moves and yeah. take take players on. Yeah, uh, maybe the odd one or two players going one too many, but. In, in general today, I thought he was great. And the way he played that ball across and 
<clears throat> Najri then made the assist and that it was really good. You can see that um, Anderson uh, thrives upon having a player of creativity beside him, such as Najri. Uh, yeah. Um, and I mean, all you can do is lick your lips in the thought of Lanzini coming back into that side. Yeah, I know. Um, and you think, God, what could they, if, yeah. if Najri is fit yeah. and stays fit and gets fitter and yeah. keeps playing with that flair and bring Lanzini into that side and add Anderson to it, all, I mean, what's that? You know, a lot of flair. Yeah, mm. can bring um, back the flares of the game. Absolutely. We talked about Arnautovic. Didn't do much. Didn't no, have any attempts. No. Looked like he sulked quite a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so, like we said, he needs to go. Fabianski. Um, I mean, but I think Fabianski, as I said last time when we were talking, I think him at the back and knowing he's at the back and playing so well gives everybody in front of him confidence. Absolutely. And they and they're playing with that confidence at the back, which is good. Absolutely. Because Arsenal didn't score today. When you think about that, that was great. Really keeping them out. Well, especially over Yang. A lot of people said, um, a lot of people said at the beginning of the game that this would be a high-scoring game because both mm -hmm. defenses couldn't can't, can't defend. Yeah. I mean, I've always said my opinion on Ogbonna, and uh, I always think it's a bit shaky. But fair play to them today; they started yeah. off not that great, but they they came about their own. Having Fabianski behind them is just always going to be fantastic. A clean sheet against Arsenal yeah, that's, that's good. a good yeah. that's a good thing. A win against Arsenal is good. A win against Arsenal is good. Yeah, London derby win. Yeah. Anything against Arsenal, yeah. we'll take that three yeah. points. Absolutely. Um, Carroll and Obiang came on yeah. with twenty minutes to go, yeah. and, and then Snodgrass as well. Yeah, well. Snodgrass Grass. I think he always brings something, whether it's a good cross or whether it's the opportunity to take a shot and score. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's he, he's he's great. Since actually, he's thought, come back. actually thought Snoddy played really well when he came on. He yeah. had what 15, 20 minutes mm -hmm. to perform. Yeah, and I think his link up played with Creswell and with Anderson. Yeah, um, and he was finding his, he's finding his spaces and into the into the box and crossing the ball over. And mm -hmm. there's a couple of times where it would go over the keeper. And yeah, it was lucky for the Arsenal defender to be there to yeah. clear the ball out. I know. Um, and then Obiang came on, cleared it off. Rumours are kicking about. I don't know if you know, but Fiorentina are sniffing about him. Didn't know that. Um, so the potential, I don't know if that's going to be, but get your comments in below. Let us know what your thoughts are on Obiang. Andy Carroll, what did he do up top? Well, himself? he didn't, it wasn't on for long, but he tried. I mean, he had a couple of, uh, he, he, he messed him up a little bit at the back, but not enough time to do anything really. Yeah. Um, all in all, one 0 victory. Good victory. Pellegrini's working is magic yeah, teams, again. Team, teams coming together really well, gelling well. Took time. It's working now. Yeah. And then, and with Rice there now, just like dominating everything. We just want him fit and stay like that. And then why not? We You're a man of the match. Uh, oh, but that question, Rice. Uh, same, same as me. Absolutely same as me. We have to have probably a lot more trust in Pellegrini. You know, a lot of fans were digging him out because we were trying to bring in Najri, but. I mean, we've seen no, today what players like Najri can do, and mm -hmm. if he finds a talent and he knows what he can do, I trust that Pellegrini can bring the best out in a lot of players. Well, I mean, I think by, by bringing Najri in, it must be that he knew him so well, yeah. and he must have known, he, regardless of what uh, his career has been uh, like in the past, and it was great that the Arsenal fans booed him, which gave him more incentive to play. Yeah, carry on doing that, <laughs> that's, that's, that's all that's going to do, is just add <laughs> that better. incentive. Yeah. But um, all in all, Dad, absolutely fantastic result. Good win. Yeah. yeah. Going to the next game, uh, obviously, just a great result. But it's going to be an interesting week or so ahead yeah. of us to see what's going to happen with Arnautovic. Oh, I know. But if yeah. it's time to go, it's time to go. Yeah. We're West Ham. Mm -hmm. No one's bigger than the club. No. Um, and, yeah, great result. Well, whether they'll get £35 million for him, I don't know. Which I, th I thought it would be more than that. But I, I, think, I think maybe that's the starting price, but yeah. maybe they'll go negotiate. But we, uh -huh. need to, we need to try and get more. But hopefully he doesn't go down this route and start, you know, slagging off the club a bit no, like a it does. So I let's know. hope that he, he leaves with a bit of grace if he yeah. does. And it looks like he is after that. Get yeah. your comments in below and let us know what you think if um, Arnautovic is going to leave and, and who we sh you think we should bring in um, and your thoughts on the game today and who your man of the match was but to be honest I don't think you can choose anyone else except for Declan Rice anyway he's been my dad I've been Anton subscribe to the channel come on you irons come on you irons